Hi guys, I'm Rita. In this episode, I will show you how you can add a new code to chart of accounts. To add a new code, you need to go to section accountant. From here, there is a subsection called chart of accounts. To add a new code, you need to click on new account. And here, if for example, in my case, I want to add a new revenue stream, I need to select a appropriate category where this code should sit. So it will sit under income in my case. But if, for example, you want to add a new expense code, then there is three categories provided and each category will have a short brief description provided to you so you know what actually can go in this category. So, for example, other expenses are like insurance and charity contributions. So if business insurance is not already part of your chart of, chart of accounts, you can add it here. So let's get back to my example. In my case, I have an income. I will add an account name. I will have sales and I will call book. I will make this a sub account because I have main account called sales, as you can see. And I had already previously custom orders and digital sales. This book is completely separate revenue stream. Then I will select my parent account uh, as sales. If you would have, for example, digital book, you could add it under digital sales. For example, selecting digital sales, this would be a parent account to sales book. So all revenue from other uh, sections plus sales would fall under digital sales. In my, ca my case, sales of book is completely separate revenue stream. So I will click on sales so that it would be a parent account. If you use account codes, add account code here, otherwise leave blank. And description, you can add uh, what this, for example, revenue stream relates to in more detail. Okay, and click save. Now, when I scroll to sales section, I can see that my sales has sales of book first, uh, like revenue streams, and there is digital sales and custom orders. Of course, digital sales have subcategories provided more. So this is a way how you can add a new code to your chart of accounts. If you have any questions or require any further advice, feel free to reach out to me. Also, if you have not seen it yet, I have shared the link in the description section below to my Zoho Books tutorial, where I cover all sections of Zoho Books accounting software in detail.